Well, she just got back from the craft and hobby mega show in California. Our very own Lynn Lilly is back with the 2016 DIY craft forecast. And it looks bright and sunny, doesn't it, Lynn Lilly? That's right. Yay! It is one Woo! big party. Yay. So I am hot off of like my Disneyland. I was just right? going to say, for those of us who are imagining Nisa Green, right? Imagine you walking in. This is your life to oh. a craft expo. What Insane. is that going to be like? It's like three football fields full of all the new products, all things you can try and sample. So it's literally four days nice. of creating. And what are we doing today that you so want to bring today, along? today I wanted to kind of share with you guys some of the new hot trends that are going to be happening in the industry. Okay. One of the biggest things to start with is party. Okay. Party is huge. So from the DIY standpoint, DIYing everything for your party. So oh. showers, in-home parties, dinner parties, and washi tape is not dead. So some wait, people wait. were saying washi tape. Washi tape. We've talked about this. Christine. Okay, you're right, you're right. <laughs> So washi tape is a Japanese tape made from rice paper. Oh yes. And it's got all different kinds of designs on it, but it is still hot in 2016. So doing some creative things with it, like taking these regular old plastic cups, dressing them up with all different patterns of washi tape. Very simple, you stick it to it, throw them away when you're done. So what else do we need with cups? We need a cocktail. Yes, so I thought we, we would kick it off. We, what is this? So it's pink limoncello. It's one of my new favorite finds. It is a, um, lemon flavored like liqueur. We mixed it with cranberry juice and then we're gonna top it with some Prosecco. Oh yum, You this looks are beautiful, going Lynn. to, oops, Here we go. love we it. And we top it off All right, so Prosecco. top it, pour some Prosecco in there. All right, heavy pour there. Heavy pour. This is your pre-drinks. Yes, cheers. Oh, that's so cute. Isn't it so good? Who doesn't want a cocktail while they're crafting? Love it. All Love right. It. And we can get this tape at just the Michael's, Michael's at a craft store. Hobby Lobby, Amazon, okay. anywhere that you can get craft supplies. So you can get creative with it. We did plates here, all kinds of fun stuff. It just adds a nice aspect to when you've kind of got this cheapy plastic stuff that you want to dress up. Love it. Love all it. All right. So next. Lettering and creating paper crafts is really, really big. So we're gonna do something really fun today. I discovered these awesome double-tipped markers. These ones are by Tombow, but they sell them in all different kinds of brands. So we are actually gonna make one of these invitations. Whoa. Whoa, right? <laughs> wow. All right. I mean, so that, looks, that looks completely we professional. We are starting with just a blank okay. card. Okay. This is just a piece of cardstock that we cut into a card. What we're gonna do to get this pink effect, we took a piece of plastic. This is like an old thing. I had paper in here. Yeah. It's an old plastic thing. So what you're gonna do is take the thick part of the marker, go ahead and just brush it on there. Just, just on there, no technique. No technique. No technique, just a whole bunch of it. All right, there you go. Good, 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 go over it, okay? Now you're gonna take your card. There it is, oh, sorry, I moved it for the camera. There it is. Okay, take your card and just rub it on there. Okay, this there I can do. There you go, just rub it around. Go ahead, all right, now let's lift it up and see. See, we start to get that pretty effect. Cool. And so you can keep adding more, but for time's sake, sure. we're gonna move on. All right. So we created these fun embellishments, again, with tape. So this is not washi tape, but it's glitter tape. So a bunch of different brands make it, but this one's by 3M. I like this one the best because the glitter doesn't come off. Okay, good. So what we did was just roll three layers of it. I started it for you on a regular piece of paper, okay? okay. So we're gonna finish this off. Got it. Right, rip it off. And then taking a punch, like you use these for scrapbooking, yes. all different kinds of shapes. Go ahead and punch out, go all it. the way up there. There you go. Oh, wait, oh, all the You're way good? up. I good. got it, punch. I got it. All right. <gasps> oh, preshy, presh. I'm loving this. All right. Oh my goodness, okay. look. So see how simple those are? And then to do our card, I went ahead and helped you out. Oh, thank you. And I made this for the invitation, so a party invitation. So you're gonna go ahead and attach that with some glue dots. Excuse me, this is your handwriting? Okay, you're gonna learn how to do that in a second. I am? Oh, the next table we move over to? Okay. So we're using simple glue dots on the back. You can do more can if do you more. want. Okay, we got two minutes, uh, um, Lynn Lily. So you get the, you get it, right? Yes. And then you add those, Ooh. and then it ends up looking like that. Oh my goodness! Wait, and so I would go and put that yep, there, there and there, and that's what you, you get. Guys, this How is cute something is that? you would pick up at Paper Affair. I'm yep. telling you. We've got the full details on CraftBoxGirls.com. I am loving that, Lynn. Okay. All right, I'm going to teach you how to letter like that. <sighs> this is a lot of pressure. Oh, grab your pink pen from over there. Pink pen, got it. All right, so take your thin end of your pen, and what I want you to do is I want you to write a word. Let's just do the word cheers. Okay. So write it in your, any fun, casual handwriting you got, if you do cursive. Can I do it kind of big? Do it big, yep, we want it big. 
There you go. Keep going. Keep going. All right, perfect. So see how we've got this? Can the camera see it? Very simple, yeah, right? Hold it up we're so using we these see. double tipped markers again. So we're now moving to the fat side got it. of our marker. Now what you're gonna do. Wait. You've already got it open. Got it. No, I know. I <laughs> I'm just, Lynn, I just wanna right. make sure I do it online. So as you do the downward strokes, you give it a thick. So see, watch, let me show you first. So you start, see how we did it with thin? Yeah. As you move down, you press your marker down okay. harder, and then you ease into it, and you can come back, fill it and in, fill it in, and blend it. Oh my goodness, this looks... So do the same thing on every layer. See how you'd be coming down yeah, on that so side? I'd be, so... All right, Brian, we're there coming go, to the next there you table. Go. So I'm just going to do it, show you the H I just did. So, yeah. Is that okay? Kind of. All right. So oh. the idea is that you are alleviating pressure as you're moving through the down part. So you use the thick marker to come back in. See how we went down, going thick? Oh, so I, I actually did it too thick in, in the H. Yeah, but we'll work on that after the show. So, and we've got step by step. You can go to the website to figure it out. Okay, at least All I'm right. trying. Okay, we, this table's got some really friend. fun stuff. Okay. So, I discovered this sea glass spray. You can actually Ooh. give your glassware a shaded tint. So, I'm really excited about this. Krylon came out with this whole new line. Ooh. So, all we did was hit this about three to four times, Love and it gives that. it a shade. Now, one of my next favorite new products is a photo transfer. Okay. So all you do is you take a copied piece of paper that you would find at like Kinko's. Got it. And you copy it. So any designs, we used scrapbook paper here, we taped it and then took it to Kinko's and made a copy of it. Got it. You take this photo, to the side of the, the picture that's facing up, it's almost kind of like a toothpaste, right? Oh, yes. Do it a little bit quicker so we can okay, show I'm the sorry, final product. I'm sorry, okay. All right, so what seconds. you- <laughs> We got it, Brian. So it's what you would do is you would flip this over and you go ahead and push out all the bubbles and you let it sit for 24 hours, okay? Okay. So this one up here has sat for 24 hours. You can see that I started to take off part of it, but we're gonna show you what happens. So you just take a wet cloth. Got it. And you wet it and you just- That's a lot of water. It's I mean, a lot of water, but all you do <gasps> is you come out by rubbing it pretty hard, it'll dry. But as you can see, that photo transfer comes off and you have a really pretty design. Look at that. So you can actually do this on fabric. We did it on a tile here. You can do it on wood. That's so precious. it's really cool. Mod Podge makes it. I think it's probably the best one to use. Plaid's got all kinds of fun stuff, but this is really great and easy and we've got the steps on craftboxgirls.com. Craftboxgirls.com, fresh from California at the biggest <laughs> trade show of 2016. <laughs> Our craftanista, thank you, Lynn Lily. Up next, we're in the kitchen. We'll be right back. That was cool. Isn't that cool? Yes. So you can do it.